Okay, the purpose of this video is to set the IP address on the PowerFlex 70 VFD. Start by accessing the Kami module, pressing escape to bring up the menu. Go down to device select and hit enter. Go down to 20 com E and hit enter. Now that you're in the communication module, parameter is highlighted, hit enter to go into the parameters. You're going to start with parameter number three, using the up and down arrows to get to number three, as seen here. Once you're at parameter number three, hit enter to select it. Change the value from a one to a zero, which disables boot P. Hit enter. Go up, and this is gonna be where you set the IP address. So you're gonna receive the IP address as a four octet number separated by periods. First octet goes into parameter number four. So hit enter to select number four, type in your IP. In my case, it's 199, hit enter. we we'll go up to parameter number five for the second part of the IP. Hit enter to select it, type in your parameter value, hit enter. Continue this process until you've entered the IP address. Once my IP address is set, I then have to set the subnet mask, which is always the same. It starts on parameter 8. And it's going to be 255. Parameter 9 is going to be 255. And parameter 10 is going to be 255. Parameter 11 is 0. It's the last part of the subnet and remain zero. After you've got the IP address and the subnet set, you're gonna scroll up until you get to parameter 20, which is reset module. You hit enter to select it and change the value to a one. This will power cycle the module when you hit enter. It'll likely cause a fault, but that's okay. You just hit the escape key. And if you get this startup menu, hit continue, and then scroll to abort. And then when you're done, you can go back to device select select the PowerFlex drive itself and hit enter and then escape and you're back on the regular menu.